forgot what day it is. I think it's the 28th. It's August 28th. It's Monday. 2023. <coughs> Shush. Yeah, I'm just chilling in bed. I had the whole day off yesterday. I didn't do anything. I didn't want to do anything. I was just watching documentaries all day. <coughs> I'm smoking weed, of course. Um, it's been a few days since I made a video. Um, so I'm making this video. This is my first video that I'm making on my what the fuck is that? On my uh, new phone. I can't find the box anywhere, but I was due for an upgrade, and I got a new iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's pretty big. I think the this is the first video that I'm recording on it. I think the quality is like clear. Looks nice. Um, I think I have like 512 gigs, which is ridiculous. But um, yeah, um, they were trying to scam me out of my money. I mean, all uh, phones, cell phone service providers. That's that's their whole mo. They just try and scam you out of your money. Um, I got a phone case. Um, it's not an OtterBox phone case, which is what I normally get, but I got a phone case and a screen protector for like 30 bucks at Walmart. They were trying to charge me like $120 for an OtterBox phone case, which is pretty good quality, but just like in one solid black, like who wants a boring just black phone case? Um, and then like $30 for a screen, like it was ridiculous, over $110 for a phone case. Um, on top of like what I'm already gonna be paying for this phone. I basically, you know, gave up my firstborn child for this this phone. And then they were also trying to like sell me the the one that's not even out yet, like the iPhone 30 or something. They're like, do you wanna like get just wait and get that phone? And I was like, no, I just I just want my fucking phone. And I just wanna go. That was a few days ago. I am like so triggered by these cell phone service providers. Anytime I walk into the store. Like, I just, I have to, like, physically prepare myself to deal with whatever bullshit that they're peddling now. Because it's not like I go into these stores, like, every day, right? We only go into these stores when, like, our phone is busted or, like, when we're trying to upgrade or start a new plan, right? Which is, like, few and far between. If you're doing it right, you're only going into these phone stores, like, once a year at the at the most, right? And, and every year, every time I go into these stores, once in a blue moon, it's, like, it's triggering. It's, like, they have these... Okay, so this time it was like 12 fucking people. Okay, hold on, I'm exaggerating. There was like seven. There was like seven or eight employees, almost 12. There was like eight people in AT&T shirts in the store with their tablets standing around. <laughs> and there was like no customers. There was literally more employees in that small store, which I don't understand. At, at not once during my time, I was in there for an hour, not once did like all of, were, were all of them busy at the same time. Um, we had like, there was like two different groups of people that came in. Um, so I don't understand what that's about. And, and yeah, and they're stealing money, but I, that's, that's just what bothers me about it. Like I really, I, there was like one time, one short period of time in my life, I think when I was completely nomadic in California, when I lived like on the beach or like in Skid Row, I didn't even have a phone. I had, I had a phone, but it was only, it was like, you, I used it for Wi-Fi. And like I didn't pay anybody, I didn't pay any phone bill because it didn't it didn't seem like like who who really needs a cell phone service? Really, people just need Wi-Fi. Um, no one really calls anymore anyone anymore, and you can you can call someone on Wi-Fi now. So it it really doesn't make sense why, and that's that's probably why they know like uh, people rely on them. People, uh, including myself, I'm guilty. We identify with our phones. Like the, this this fucking box right here. A part of me is like inside of it and I'm like identifying with it and it, it's just kind of sad <laughs> and I remember when I was like a year it was like a good year where I didn't buy I didn't pay for any phone service I wasn't I'm not, it wasn't like the best times of my life but I mean less stressful I know I, didn't, I wasn't pouring thousands of my hard-earned dollars into this box <laughs> anyway that's my rant about my cell phone I don't really have much I have to go to work later I um I went on a walk a couple days like I'm just like compiling all like my top moments over the past few days until they become like a full video so all these videos are going to be out of order um this one's like the the newest video
Um, yeah, that's it. We're chilling. Win rinse, wash, repeat. We're gonna go to the lake and then to the gym and then go on to work. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think, is there anything else um, besides the cell phone? The cell phone's like the biggest news. Um, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you when I see you. have pumpkin spice waffles at the Waffle House for a limited time. They taste just like pumpkin pie. They're so good. Oh.